joining us. Well, when you think of famous artists, a few probably come to mind, like Michelangelo and Van Gogh. And aside from being great artists, you probably know that they have another thing in common. Most of the masters were men. As Fox 13's Todd Tanner shows us, he has a unique tale of how gender affected Utah artists more than a century ago. Inside the Utah Museum of Fine Arts, two paintings from 1892. One by a man named J.T. Harwood. The other by his wife, Harriet Richards Harwood. It was really quite difficult to uh, establish yourself as an artist if you were a woman. Both artists were from Utah. Both traveled to Paris to perfect their craft, but going forward, one's career had more opportunities than the other. It was very difficult to get in. Only JT was accepted into Paris's most prestigious school. They called the Beaux-Arts. It was only available for men to enter until 1897. It was there J.T. Harwood perfected painting the human form. One of the reasons women weren't allowed, the idea that it was inappropriate for them to gaze upon nude models. One thing that um, you find very often in works by women artists is that they specialize in genres or subject matter that didn't require studies of, of figures from life. Not only was it restricted in terms of um, education, but also exhibition opportunities were really limited. J.T. Harwood's piece, Preparation for Dinner, was exhibited in the esteemed Paris Salon in 1892. It was the first work by a Utah artist accepted to the salon and really a feather in that artist's cap. Um, but Harriet Harwood was not able to, to submit her work at that time. In 1893, the biggest event in the world was in the USA, the Chicago World's Fair. And it included both artists' work. Well, sort of. J.T. Harwood's work was shown in the Fine Arts Building, whereas there was another building or pavilion established for the display of works by women artists, and that's where Harriet's work was displayed. More than a century later, J.T. and Harriet are finally side by side. I think that uh, there are many women artists who have yet to be um, researched thoroughly and brought to the public eye, and I think that Harriet Richards Harwood is one of those artists. Todd Tanner, Fox 13 News, Utah.